All right, Sunday night. We're roasting some eagle. Right? Sunday night. Sunday night. Eagles. Roasting, yeah. Early Thanksgiving in October. All right, well, anyways. Uh, number one. Now, yesterday we did notes on this. Who was not here yesterday? So you're going to learn this real quick, and then you can get a copy of the notes if you want. Okay. So on number one. True. True. But the goal is you want to get the vertical bars by themselves. So that three in front, bless you, the three in front and the five after it have to go first, kind of like you're solving an equation. So we're going to get rid of the loner plus five by subtracting five on both sides. So minus five, minus five. Okay, what's 14 minus five? Nine. So I'm going to bring down the three absolute value, x plus two. Absolute value. I need the absolute value bars to be by themselves, so that three needs to be, hey, in the back. How do I get rid of this three? Okay, if it's out front, it's being multiplied, so the opposite is two divide. So divide by three, divide by three, both sides. So that gives me absolute value of x plus two. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, are the bars, is everyone listening very closely? Are the bars by themselves on the left side? Okay, yes, there's stuff inside, but that's okay. Now, it equals a positive number. That means how many solutions are there? Positive means two solutions. What would it be for one solution? Uh, it would actually equal 0. Yes. So if it equals zero, you know there's one solution. But if it's a negative, how many solutions are there? None. No solutions. Okay. So negative, when it's bars equal negative, no solution. Bars equal zero, one solution. Bars equal positive, like this one, we have two solutions. So if you weren't here yesterday, hey, I'm going to show you how to do this. So focus this way. All right. So this is going to split into two equations. Ready? So, so hold on. So x plus 2, remove the bars, equals, can I draw? There we go. Equals 3, just the way it is. And then you're going to do x plus 2 equals negative 3. Okay? So when you have these bars, it equals positive or negative whatever that number is, okay? Get this down. Now you can solve both of those. I really hope you can solve a one-step equation by now. How do I get rid of these plus twos on the left side? Subtract two, so um, minus two, three minus two is one, minus two, negative three minus two is negative five, okay? You are subtracting, so it gets more negative. Now, could you graph that on a number line? So remember yesterday we learned you get, if you have your number line, So if I know x equals exactly 1, I'm going to put a dot at 1 on a number line. And I know if x equals exactly negative 5, I'm going to put a dot or a point at negative 5. Number 2, same thing. Let's, let's solve this. We want to get the bars by themselves. What do I do first to get the bars by themselves? Do I get rid of the 1 half or the 8? Eight because it's the loner. It's a positive. So what do I do? Subtract. So minus eight, minus eight. What's two minus eight? Negative six. Bring down one half, and then x minus seven in the bars equals negative six. That one half in front has to go. What's the opposite of one half? Uh, 
not wrong, but when we're talking about how do we get rid of a one-half that's being multiplied, you have to flip it. Okay, do you remember that R word for flipping a fraction? Reciprocal. Reciprocal, okay? Right? Hey, right? So if I have a fraction, you can multiply by the flip version to get rid of the fraction, the reciprocal, okay? Now, when you flip 1 over 2, you get 2 over 1, which is basically the same thing as just 2, okay? So to get rid of a 1 half, you multiply by 2, okay? So times 2 here gets rid of a half, okay? So the opposite of 1 half is 2 over 1, right? 2 over 1 is 2. But if you want to write it as 2 over 1, that's fine too. So that way you can see that they're opposites. They can't, they're going to cancel out. Okay. And if I multiply by 2 over 1 on the left side, I'm going to multiply by 2 over 1 on the right side. Let's bring it down. Uh, absolute value of x minus 7 equals negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 over 1. But that's still negative 12. Okay. Now, last time when I was here, I split it into two equations. So what should I do now? What? Why? Okay, does everyone see that we have bars? Uh, this is going to be on your test one day. Is everyone listening? Does everyone see I have bars equal a negative number? We said that means what? No solution. Okay. So, again, if the, bar, if the bars equal a negative... That is no solution. And that's what we got here. So no solution. For number two. You don't have to set it up and start solving it because there is no solution. Okay. Remember, if, if you were looking at a graph, that it would look something like this, where the, the graph is above the x-axis. If it never touches it, there's no solution. Okay. It is Friday, right? Sorry I didn't play the song this week. Maybe next week. But uh, you want to make sure your name is on your warm-up. If you weren't here yesterday, Monday you should have put holiday. Tuesday you should have put sub. Wednesday you should have put PSAT. Yesterday, if you were absent, put absent. And then today you have this warm-up. You should have five good warm-ups with your actual name on it. Okay. You can just pass them to the front, and I'll pick them up on your row. Today you need to finish... 3.3 from yesterday, okay? Everybody, if you have if you have to finish 3.3, that means you also need to make sure you've turned in 3.2 and 3.1. 3.1, 2, and 3, you're about to go in the grade book. You're about to hit the fan in a good way or a bad way. You tell me, okay? So make sure you have 3.3 from yesterday and the notes, and make sure you finish it, turn in today, because Monday we move on to 3.4. Here we go. Why? Stone